What's good YouTube, it's Kibbo back with another video. So today I'm going to show you a very special pair which dropped recently and I was lucky enough to cop my size and yeah, so I'm going to show you them now. So these are the Sean Wotherspoon Air Max 1 slash 97s. This pair means a lot to me due to use of materials also Sean Wotherspoon and round two. So as soon as I saw these last year on a vote forward, I knew for a fact I was gonna vote for Sean every day, which I did, and one year later, they're now in my collection. So yeah, corduroy features on the box, the box label. So yeah, I'll show you them now. An absolute unreal pair. Jeez. All corduroy featuring a denim pull tab with VA to LA on the back. If people didn't know, VA is Richmond where Sean, Luke and Chris opened their first round two store and the Arrow to LA is where they opened their second store and obviously their third which is now in New York. But yeah, that is a crazy little touch for me. Mini swoosh. Absolute gorgeous pair. Quality is insane on these. They have done a really good job. Velour lining. You probably won't be able to see, but very nice on the underside of the tongue. Also a velour midsole with the uh, embroidered happy face. But this pair is absolute unreal in my opinion it was the best out of the 12 and i am happy at one definitely but if you were lucky enough to get a pair of these for retail like me supposedly a lot of pairs of these but here in the uk not half as many people who thought they were going to cop cop people said resale was going to be low but still around 400 ish I'll show you both. Unreal. I just calm my words. Obviously, like the box states, the more you wear, the, the more you wear these, the more the trainer wears. So they are designed to fray. So I guess some people would distress their pairs already early, but I'm not gonna do that. But wow. Gosh, I don't know if my camera is going to focus too well, but just so you can see some of the details at least. The, literally, the quality on these is crazy. Nike, I'm not lying, Nike went out of their way to make these a very good pair. So, for example, the corduroy on the right trainer, every, uh, every corduroy panel it's facing a different direction. You probably won't be able to see. So, on the left trainer, it's also facing a different direction, but that is in the reverse a direction to what the right trainer is. So every single one is facing the opposite way. Each panel of corduroy. You probably can't see, but check your pair. The aglet, one is gold, one is silver, which is a pretty nice touch. The wave patch, corduroy tongue obviously, but literally best release this year and I don't think it's gonna get topped. Not for me anyway. I'll show you the extras they come with. Unfortunately, didn't get a dust bag. I believe that's for the friends and family pairs or at least the early pairs anyway. So you get teal blue laces, purple laces, and a set of white laces, which come with the Nike swoosh patches too. In lemon and teal. I'll show you the box paper quick in that vintage Nike font. Obviously more air on the inside of the label. Overall, they've smashed her. They've smashed the release on this pair. 
simple as that. There are, in my opinion, there is no top in this pair this year, especially not for me and my collection and what I'm after. The first time an Air Max 97 upper has released on an Air Max 1 midsole. Straight up, it's just crazy. As soon as I saw this pair last year, I knew for a fact I was going to get it somehow or the other. Not one not one bit of me thought I would be able to cop for retail. So I am extremely over the moon. But if you didn't get a pair, I advise you to get a pair. Trust me. A lot of people are saying these fit big, um, half a size big. And um, the store, I would have copped the UK 10.5, but the store only had uh, a UK 11. So I went with the UK 11 and double insole and they fit sweet. I'd have had to double insole them anyway, more or less, but I'm trying to get both in if you can see. But believe me, these are a crazy release. The, I have actually undead stocked these already. I quickly shot an on foot picture. I'll post that up now for you to have a look at. But yeah, I am literally very, very, very happy with this pair. I'll try and get it so the camera focuses a bit better, but. VA to LA. If you were lucky enough to cop a pair, comment in the comment section. Also, um, I didn't get lucky on the Atmos Animals last week, the Air Max 1s, but I will probably have to pay resale on that pair because my friend did manage to scoop a pair for retail and well, I saw them in hand last night and mm -mm, I need them. I did leave an OG pair from 2006 at Crep City in my size for £800, which I should have copped because I really, really did regret that. But if I do cop them, which I more than likely will, I'll post a video of them, but I'm just going to shut up and let you look at these because I, my words, <laughs> I can't speak. But literally, best release this year for me and I believe they will be the best release of this year straight up but yeah that is it if you like this video please leave a like comment and subscribe